In this video, I will give you a quick introduction to the financial statement generator in Blitz report. So let's open a Blitz report form and a report called GL financial statement generator. So there is a default template. And when we run the report for the default template, it opens an empty Excel sheet in which we can create our financial statement layout. And the technology is now a little different to the Blitz report because in uh, the traditional Blitz reports, they generate a whole Excel output file on the server. But here the technology is different. So it opens an Excel file, which is macro enabled XLSM, and it has a connection to the server. And it has additional menu icons here. And we can use these menu icons to create functions in Excel. We could, for example, retrieve all the account values let's use this discover functionality to retrieve the account values from the server and then we could create a financial period list of value and select a period let's say january 08 and then we can extend the period because we don't want to see just one period we would like to see the whole year so let's extend it to the right And what else? Let's also uh, make these in bold and let's fix the first row, freeze the top row. And now we can retrieve our balances. So we have here on the left hand side, we have the accounts, parent accounts and child accounts. And here we have our financial periods and we would like to see now the balances. So we can click on this balance function and it opens a screen in which we can select the parameters. For example, the period name we would like to have from this Excel cell. And it should always be in the first row. So we need to add the dollar sign and let's say the company name for, uh, in this case, we hard coded to zero one and the account we can pick from here, always from the first column. And now it should load the balance. Okay, so we have our balance. Let's copy the function into all the cells and let's adjust the size and refresh it. And now the technology is different to Blitz reports because now there is a server connection. So first it goes through all these Excel cells and counts. So you see we have 6,420 Excel cells for which we need to retrieve the balances. And the server connection now loads the balances from the EBS and puts them back, retrieves them back into the Excel. Okay, so here we have our results and you see we have many empty rows which don't have any movements in 2008. So we have the possibility to remove the zero values like this. And in this spreadsheet, we could now further drill down. So for example, what do we have? We have total revenue here, for example. So let's say we would like to see the, the total revenue for the hardware revenue. Let's say these 18.6 million in June. You can double click on one of the balance records and then it opens the drill down first to the balance level and we can drill down further. So we have all these different code combinations and then we can drill down to the journal level. So these are all the journals. So you see we have sales invoices and receivables. And so let's drill down further so we can select rows and then we can drill down to the lowest level, which is a subledger transaction level. And these drill downs, they execute blitz reports in the back end. So the report is exactly the same as the GL account analysis in this case. And also you have the possibility to create templates and then select which columns you would like to see. So the same flexibility that you have with Blitz report, you can apply here. So here, this is the lowest level. So the subledger level. So if one record for every transaction, first, all the, the columns coming from the general ledger module. So concordinated segments, line amounts. And here we have our chart of account segments. And then we have the amounts, entered amounts, accounted amounts. And further to the right, we have transaction level data. So starting from the transaction number column here, Everything further to the right is coming from the subledger. So here we have the, the source is order entry and we have the invoice number, invoice dates and invoice amounts and so on. And further to the right, we have the sales order number. Then we have the salesperson names, invoice rules, and also the customer numbers, customer names and addresses. And all the way at the end, we have a hyperlink. And this hyperlink, when we click on it, 
it opens the transaction in Oracle again. So we can open now the form again for that transaction that we have open in the Excel file. You see, this is the invoice with our hardware sale here. So that is the drill down functionality. And so the spreadsheet, which I have just created here, that is fairly basic. But if you are familiar with Excel, so you can use any functions you can subtract and uh, yeah, basically any Excel standard functionality and you can build up your own layout. So let me show you an example. So this was the default template and we have uploaded an example here in my summary statement. So you can basically build your layouts in Excel. Then you can, once the layout is complete, you can upload them to the server so that also other users can use them. And then you can, or you could keep them on your laptop as well. And then you could uh, next time reconnect from your laptop and then load, refresh the, the value. So here, this is a little bit more sophisticated example. Having, for example, the gross margin is a calculated field from the revenue minus cost of sales. So basically you can create your own financial statements like this. Thanks for watching.